on today's video we're gonna go through how much we trim up the front shoulders for grinding into venison burger Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors with my dad, Don Knetter. And you know, we've done quite a few deer processing videos. And you know, through the years of doing a few of these videos, um, we've noticed a few common questions that we get, okay? And we thought we'd answer one of those questions today. And that is, you know, how much fat, silver skin, that sort of thing, do you take off the meat before you grind it into venison burger? Okay, and, and it's really a preference thing, hey dad, it's, uh, sure. you know, the, the more you get off, probably the better it's going to be. Right. Uh, at some point, I suppose, there's kind of a point of diminishing returns, you know, you don't have right. to get every speck of it off, but there's really no easy answer to that. It's kind of preference, how much time you want to put into it. So what we thought we'd do today is just kind of show you how we do it, okay? And what's going to happen is uh, my dad's going to bone out these two front shoulders, and we're gonna put the meat from them in a tub and then I will go through and I will kind of defat them, trim them up how I normally do before we grind them into burger. And just so everybody realizes there's, there's quite a bit of bone in here too, mm -hmm. hey, Dad, and, okay. and you're gonna keep the bone out here for them sure. to see how much bone. Show you just so much. Yeah, yeah, so you know, that's really the only way we figured we'd be able to answer that question is just kind of by showing you, so that's what we're gonna do today. Like Dave says, we're just going to bone this out. I'm going to pass the baked pieces over to him once we have it boned out. Probably seen how we do this boning out on these before. But today we're just going to go a step further and show you exactly how we uh, lean it out. Yeah, and uh, I got that uh, deer processing playlist at the channel. You know, if there's any sure. uh, other questions they have on front shoulders or any anything having to do with deer processing, they can probably find some answers there. Sure. Going right up to the first socket. That's mm -hmm. your full shank bone with shoulder bone still intact. Now we'll just go ahead, like you've seen me do before, take out that nice little canoe paddle that's in here. Take the meat off of the bone good. And Shoulder meat, mm -hmm. totally deboned. Get what little bit is left on there. Yeah, just work that over how you can, eh? Sure. There's not too much on it, but we'll get some of it off. Now, here we go. What you had inside there. That's that's, that. that's how it was, eh? It's the front shoulder complete with the front leg. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just to give everybody an idea, sure. there is quite a bit of bone in the front shoulders. Right. So uh, you know, when you see the amount of meat that, that we're uh, done with, you realize that. From the other. Yeah, okay. So there's the meat in the tub off the shoulders. That's the bone. And we'll go to the next step. So what I did is I dumped the meat out on the cardboard there and I'm gonna go through it 
and I'm going to keep all the fat that I trim off it in one pile and then I'm going to go ahead and put the cleaned up meat back in the tub and then we'll be able to kind of look at it when we're done. And really all I'm doing here is taking off anything that isn't red meat. And if you'll notice, I'm not getting every little bit of fat off. I'm not getting every little bit of silver skin off. I'm trying to get the bigger pieces. I'm trying to get the bulk of it off. And just like it is with any other kind of deer processing, a sharp knife really helps.
All right, so there is the meat that we're gonna keep and grind up into burger. This is what I trimmed off of it, and this is just from the two front shoulders. And you know, there's just a lot of, a lot of fat, a lot of sinew, you know. A lot of stuff that you'd just rather not have. Better quality grind. Yeah, a lot of stuff you'd rather not have in your burger. You want to so. Oh. so that's just how we do it. Um, we really like the final product. We mix the uh, the meat with beef suet, about 20% beef suet, about 80% venison. Grind that up, and that makes a great hamburger. And if you're at all interested in uh, kind of the ins and outs of how we do that, uh, go to my channel, go to the deer processing playlist, and we have a video dedicated to just grinding up venison burger. And then one thing you can do with whatever fat you have left over, you can get an onion sack like this one. Stuff everything in the onion sack, tape it up or tie it up, hang it in a tree, and uh, in the wintertime the birds will love it. Just like the bird feed suet that you would get uh, at a feed store. Alright guys, well that's how my dad debones the front shoulders, that's how I kind of trim them up and defat them, and that's the product that we're left with. And I'll tell you, that's that's really worked well for us as far as uh, making venison burger. Uh, oh, yeah. I've always enjoyed that venison burger that we make up. Me too. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I will just fry those burgers up, and I'll eat them like a steak. Yep. With a little bit of salt, no bun, yeah. no ketchup, no mustard. I, I, I think they're just excellent. I don't uh, want to ruin them with a bun either. <laughs> right, no, it just cheapens them. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, that's how we do it. That doesn't mean that that's the only way to do it, but, uh, you know, we've gotten that question in the past, so we thought we would kind of try to answer it for you guys. But anyways, hey, guys, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter with my dad, Don Knetter, for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching, and God bless.